with everything that we do in mathematics, we always learn to go forward and then to go backwards or to undo things. You know, we I always talk about that the first thing we learn is addition. And then the next thing we learn is subtraction. So we go forward with addition and we learn to go backwards with subtraction. And then when we learn multiplication, then we have to go backwards from that. And the next thing we learn is division. So with the distributive property, we're learning to multiply through that set of parentheses. We also have to learn how to undo that distribution or to go backwards. And I always call that just reverse distribution. Later on, um, in several, a couple more chapters, we're going to learn that the proper term for it is factoring. But right now, let's think about it as reverse distribution, just undoing the distribution. So let's look at this very first problem here. It says, use the distributive property to write each sum as a product. Kind of weird notation for saying, or, or you know, wordage uh, for saying, do the reverse or the opposite of distribution. In this problem, we have 4 times 1 plus 4 times y. Now technically we have two different terms here. Terms are things that are separated by pluses and minuses. So within these two terms, do you see that we have something in common? We have a 4 in both of those terms. Well, let's pull that 4 out or do a reverse distribution. If I do that, then what I'm saying is 4 times what would get me right back to here? If I were to distribute this 4 throughout the parentheses, I need to get right back here to what the original problem is. So let's take it in parts. If we say our first term here, 4 times what will be the same thing as saying 4 times 1. Well, wouldn't that be 1? And now then we need to say 4 times what would give us 4 times y. And that would be a plus y. Now the way that you can kind of do a quick double check on yourself is to distribute that back through and make sure that that is reverse distribution. If we were to do 4 times 1, well there's our 4 times 1. And if we were to then distribute this 4 to the y, 4 times y, yeah, there it is. Very good. Now that's a little bit weird when it's written like this. I like it a lot better in the next example, which is something more like what you're actually going to be seeing. Here we have two terms, 30a and 30b. And we see that within both of these, we have a 30 in common. So let's pull that out. And then we, we can look at this and say 30 times what would give us 30a? Wouldn't that be a? And then 30 times what would give us a positive 30b? That would be a positive b. We can always double check ourselves by distributing and making sure we can get right back to where we started. 30 times a would be 30a and 30 times b would be 30b. So this would get us right back to where we started.